Hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made. And every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. He is good when you think he is not good. He is good when you're going through pain. He is good when you're going through suffering. He is good when you're going through difficulties. He is good when you're going through storms. He is good when you don't understand what's going on. He's still good. So that's why it's so important to always seek the kingdom first. To always pour your heart to him. No matter what it looked like. Because he never said it's going to be easy if you're going to follow him. He never said it's going to be easy if you're going to put your trust in him. He never said it's going to be easy if you're going to put your hope in him. So if you know if it's not going to be easy. All you got to do is say, Jesus, I know that you got this. Father God, take over. You got everything under control and you will always be in charge. I'm always going to listen to you because you are my teacher. You are my leader. You are my healer. You are my provider. You are my protector. You are my everything. That's why I'm always encouraging my brother and sister. That praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands. And he is working everything out. You can always count on Jesus. You can always depend on Jesus. And you can always rely on him. He is the key. He is the answer. And he is the way. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home or to your life or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. Please return back to your first love. His arms are open wide. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise today. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done, everything that you're doing right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you're ordering our steps. We thank you, Father God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Father God, that we always put you first place, God. We always put you number one above every and anything, Father God. Oh, Father God, you continue to have your way with your sons and your daughters, even myself today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we asking you today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in our life, God. Oh, Father God, we need to hear from you today, Father God. We are expecting something from you today, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just put our faith, we put our trust, we put our hope into your hands right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you know you know exactly what we need right now today, Father God, and God, we know that you are provided, God, and God, you might not come through when we want it, God, but God, we know for a fact, we know for a reason, God, we know for sure that you will come through, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, continue to wrap us, Father God, in your arms, Father God. Heal us, Father God, restore everything to us right now today, Father God, what the enemy had taken from us. Father God, I believe now, declare right now today, Father God, that you are touching every last one of your sons and daughters right now today, Father God. I Father God, that you are filling them up right now today, God, with your presence right now. That you are filling them up right now today, God, with your love, God. And Father God, it's not too hard for you. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. Oh, Father God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love that you continue to get out, give out and pour out. We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, have your way with us right now today, Father God. We thank you for this word that we better receive, this powerful message right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and should not return back void today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, this is your time, this is your moment that I know for a fact that you're about to show up, that I know for a fact that you're about to show out. I believe and I declare, I decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today, someone's going to be delivered today, someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Jesus, and the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now, and all 
and all the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now today. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord, right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move supernaturally in my sisters and brothers' finances right now, in their health right now, in their dreams right now, in their business right now. Now, in their neighborhoods right now, in their job place right now, in their relationship right now, in their marriages right now, in their children right now, in their family right now. I'm asking Father God to send them to the help, Father God, that they need right now today, God. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to put them at the right place at the right time. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, just to touch them right now today, God. Lift them up. Let them know they ain't got to worry no more. Let them know they ain't got to stress no more. Let them know, Father God, they ain't got to cry about the small things no more, God, because you say I already done it. It's already taken care of. We want us to rest in your words and rest in your promises, God. And I believe and I declare right now today, God, that is exactly what we're going to do. Rest in your words and rest in your promises. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's home, right here in my brother's life, right here in my sister's home, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are comfortable. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds, so we hear your soft still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you know move before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to touch us right now. As we repent of our sins today, please forgive us for our sin today, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, how blessed I am to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today, and my body in Christ today. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for praise. I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know who this word is for today, but the Lord knows what's going on. The Lord sees what's happening because he sits up high. He sees everything. He hears everything. And he's aware of everything. There are some people right now today that are trying to emerge and to come back into your life. They're trying to plead. They plead with you to let you know how sorry they are. They're trying to plead. They plead with you to let you know that they'll never do it to you again. But God said, why go back to somebody? Or to someone who broke you the way that they broke you. Sorry is not going to get it this time. I'm nobody fool. I gave you chance after chance after chance. And every time I kept continue to give you a chance after chance, you proved to me who you was. You proved to me what you was about. A zebra never changes his or her stripes at all. So sorry is not going to get it. You can play that game with somebody else. You can run that I'm sorry to somebody else. But I'm nobody's fool anymore. Shame on you the first time. Shame on me the second time. Now it's shame on you all over again. Because I ain't going back to nobody that broke me the first time. I'm not going back to a person to give you the opportunity to do it back over again. I don't care how sorry you are. I've been forgave you. 
But it's time for you to move on. And it's time for me to go my separate way. Because I was faithful to you. I was loyal to you. I even would have gave you the shirt off my back to you. But this is how you repay me. This is how you do me. Now because things didn't work out on your end. Now you're trying to creep crawl back to me. I'm sorry. It's not going to get it this time. Crying is not going to get it this time. Begging is not going to get it this time. Pleading your plea is not going to get it this time. We have had enough with you in your sorrows. We have had enough of you in your plea. You ain't ready to change. You are who you are. Just keep it real and let it be what it is. Let it be what it is. Because you know, just as well as I know, who you are and how you get down and how you rock. You come in all sweet trying to butter us up, thinking everything good, trying to make it seem like you really changed. But the moment we get comfortable, you're going back to the dog you was before. I ain't blind no more. Not sure, ain't slow. I was born at night. But it sure wasn't last night, my brothers and sisters. Why go back to someone who damaged you the way they damaged you? Why go back to someone who cheated on you the way they cheated on you? Why go back to someone who keeps leaving every time when things don't go right in your relationship and marriage? They want to pack up and go. Why go back to someone who you know is going to keep breaking your heart over and over and over again? Why go back to something? That you know it's going to break you down again. God didn't create you. For someone to break you. And to walk over you like a doormat. And to treat you like dirt. He created you. He created you because he wants the best for you. And you should want the best. For yourself my sisters. You should want the best. For yourself my brothers. Regardless of what it looked like. Sorry. Is not going to get it. Sorry is not going to cut it this time. It worked a couple years ago, but it ain't working now. I don't care how much time we got together. I don't care how much history that we have together. Sorry, it's still not going to get it. And sorry, it's not going to work this time. I'm sorry, it's not going to work. I'm not going to play myself to be a fool again. I'm not going to be faithful and loyal to you again so you can do it to me again so you can bark at me again so you can bite at me again so you can snap at me again so when things don't go right when the, when the situation turns wrong you want to pack up you want to leave again you can go ahead and leave now because you are not we ain't doing this game no more you are not we ain't playing this history game no more go play with somebody else go get another victim because this victim here is already played out you can't victimize, you can't victim me anymore. Because I know exactly who you are. You showed me who you are more than one time. When somebody show you who they are, my sisters, when somebody show you who they are, my brothers, Jesus is telling you right now today, you should have believed him the first time. Because I'm going to keep it real, I'm going to keep it be honest with you. We serve a good God, we serve an awesome God. Our Father God will allow that same person continue to hurt you over and over again until you say, you know what? Sorry, I ain't gonna get it no more. So you can't blame Jesus for what's going on. At some point, he gave you the light bulb. At some point, he gave you the strength to move on. He gave you wisdom, he gave you knowledge, he gave you understanding, he gave you clarity, he gave you discernment. So the Lord has already done and done his part and given his part. So why, why do you continue to go back to a person that keep breaking? You can't blame the Lord for that. At some point, you got to say, you know what? Enough is enough. We're not going to do this no more. At some point in your life, you got to say, sorry is not enough. And sorry is not going to get it this time. Go bark at somebody else. Go bite at somebody else. Go tell somebody else that you're sorry. Because sorry ain't going to work it anymore. Amen? Amen. Let's turn our back to Proverbs 26. And we're going to read verse 11. That's Proverbs 26, and we're going to read verse 11. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. As a dog returned to its vomit. Do you know why that dog returned to its vomit? 
because you got to eat those words. What he said to you, what she said to you, what the family member said to you, what those in-laws said to you, what those so-called friends said to you, what the people at the church said to you, what the people at the job said to you. When a person opens their mouth and they say all these um, hurtful and deceitful words to you, make you feel like that you less than, they got to eat those words. At some point, they got to eat it. And right now, they're eating them right now. That's why they want to come back into your life. That's why they want to plead, they plead with you right now. That's why they begging to come back home. That's why they're saying, I'm sorry. That's why they're saying they want to work it out right now. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this word for somebody right now today. A dog will always eat its words. But this is what Jesus is saying. As a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Jesus is telling you right now today, don't you dare be the fool again. Because the moment you take him back, you take her back, God said you're going to be the fool again because all you're doing is repeating the same thing over and over again. A dog going to be who a dog is. A person going to be a person is a zebra never changes his or her stripes. Point blank, period. I don't know who I'm talking to right now today, but the Lord is telling me to tell you right now today, don't never go back to something that broke you down. Sorry, you're not going to get it this time. Sorry. Is not going to get it this time. I don't know who the Lord is talking to today. But if you know the Lord is talking to me right now today, say thank you, Jesus. I need you to enlighten me a little bit more. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Because I'm just about to be a fool again. Thank you for instructing me. Thank you for giving me the green light for me to walk out and for me to live my best life. Amen. Amen. And this word moved through today. If it's touched your spirit today, go and hit Jesus like button. Go and hit the subscribe button to as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in my life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, you'll leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lg. Always keep Jesus in first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know me. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, holy matter name.